Safety first, right? Safety first. <laughs> How are you, Jose? Good. I'm very well today. Jose Guerrero, right? Uh, yes. You're the product manager for the new BMW i3? Yes. So, uh, it's been a, a long time since people have been talking about this car, huh? Finally, it's here. Yes, we're really excited to be here in LA to give everyone a chance to take the cars out for a spin. So, uh, it's not only a new car, but it's like a new division for BMW, right? Yes, it's a new sub-brand focusing on sustainability, but still has the core DNA ingredients. So. Part of our DNA being the 50-50 weight distribution, being the ultimate driving machine, that's it, it's core. But electric in this case. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so let's go. I mean, pretty easy. Yes. Push a button and you're ready to go. The you're screen tells go. you you're ready. Exactly. So obviously it's, inside, it's an electric car, so you don't have a, a transmission, right? Nope. Can we say it's an automatic? It's a, it's actually a one speed. A one uh, speed. It only has one speed. Um, at the maximum speed of 93 miles per hour, it's, it's spinning over 11,000 RPM. So. Okay, so we go, we put it on drive. Exactly. And here we go. So, tell us a little bit about uh, this car. As I said, it's been shown uh, in auto shows for a few years now. A uh -huh. couple years at least. It's been in, uh, in development for a long time, but... Uh, streets and uh, tell us one of the... Uh, we just saw one passing by. They yeah. are really fast. <laughs> They're enjoying it. Um, this car has something unique, which is our one pedal driving. So as you lift off the accelerator, it comes to a complete stop. So, this, so without braking? Without braking. Wow. So it can achieve about, based on a normal driving cycle, about 80% of its braking uh, without using the brakes. So that's an, 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 an extra safety feature, right? Yes, for us it's, it's a safety feature as well, but uh, on top of that, it's, it's really the most efficient way of driving. So as you come to a stop, the re recuperation of the energy is actually going back to the battery. So you're actually charging back the battery as you come to a stop. And then uh, one of the main attributes of an electric car is this. Exactly. It goes fast really quick. <laughs> Zero to 60 in approximately seven seconds. Wow, that's, uh, a, that's fast for an electric car, huh? Exactly. For any car. But for us, we're BMW, so it's part of our DNA again. And uh, we're really taking advantage of that instantaneous torque. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the, the charging and uh, the range and all that. So range is about 80 to 100 miles, depending on your driving, of course, yeah. uh, in comfort mode. So Eco Pro, Plus, Eco Pro mode will give you an additional 12% on those ranges. And also Eco Pro Plus will give you an additional 12 on top of that. Uh, but from our standpoint, we wanted to give the customers really the ability to um, experience the car and have options. So options whether they want to drive sportier or they want to drive more efficient. Um, the car charges, the, the car itself has a 7.4 onboard uh, charger, AC fast, 7.4 kilowatts. Uh, so the car charges from zero in approximately three hours. Okay. Um, it's very, that's very innovative as well because a lot of the non-premium electric cars of today, their base vehicles are around 3.3 kilowatts. One of the advantages of, I mean, of, of having uh, the battery charge so fast comes from the fact that everything in this car, it's a uh, was thought about weight, right? Exactly. Reduction of weight. Exactly. This this new life drive architecture that this vehicle platform is based on, uh, we're really able to redefine how a car is built. So with that in mind, we're the first mass market vehicle that's made from structural carbon fiber. So the entire passenger compartment is from carbon fiber. And then the drive module, which encompasses all the batteries and the drivetrain components, um, is all out of aluminum. What that means is this vehicle has a low uh, weight of 2,700 pounds. Wow. And we haven't had any uh, BMW that light since Model Year 91. Wow. That's amazing. Completely different car though. <laughs> exactly. And, and from us, we're, we're really proud of that. Um, because of the low weight, you're able to reduce the amount of batteries. Because you're able to reduce the amount of batteries, you're able to reduce the charging time. So this is part of our story. Uh, we know 80 to 100 miles, completely fine with 90% of Americans. Yeah. The average commute of an American is around 33 miles an hour. And obviously there's a learning uh, learning curve in terms of uh, that, how you use it, more or less how it take, how long it takes you to, to go wherever you're going home, uh, to work or whatever, coming back, and then like how long it takes to charge. So people who, who, are nev who have never driven an electric car, get a little bit of anxiety because range of that anxiety, yes. range anxiety but like what do you say like within a week they figure out exactly more or less the patterns exactly and 
and uh, for the people who actually need that additional security uh, because they have range anxiety we offer a model with the uh, range extender the range extender effectively is uh, from our BMW motorcycles family so we're extremely proud of it 650 cc it produces electricity uh, and effectively it gives the car 160 to 180 miles. So it range. doubles the range. Exactly. Wow, that's that, that's a lot. I mean, 160. Mm -hmm. You you won't drive in a normal day, like uh, no. if you're like not going on a trip or something like that. So you, exactly. You're just commuting or something, right? And well, let's say that maybe had an emergency or they couldn't get to a charging station for whatever reason. I mean, these are effectively the range extender solution would be a good solution for those people. So, so let's talk about price. How much is this car? The base i3 is 41350. That comes with navigation standard, 19 inch forged aluminum wheels, rear park distance control. I mean, it, the base car is very well equipped, even so that it has adaptive LED headlights. From our standpoint, we're really proud of it because that price is without the 7,500 federal tax incentive um, or any additional state ones. And the vehicle with the range extender, the base price for that vehicle is 45,200. Okay. All the all, all the details of the car. It's a luxury car. It's a BMW. I mean, this wood trimming here and and the, and the, and the mm. panel is amazing. Exactly. And there's also a very particular uh, materials. What? Tell me about this material in the in the door panels and in the front, please. So this material is Kina fiber. Um, the material that, that extends over the dash and the door panel. Kina fiber is is closer to a uh, cotton-based hemp. Uh, from our standpoint, it the way we structurally uh, placed into the vehicle. We wanted to give that type of exposed brick or exposed concrete look into, um, if you see a New York City loft. Kind of industrial, so like exactly. industrial loft, one of those exactly. things. Exactly, and it becomes part of the design feature of the car. Instead of hiding it underneath leather and so forth, we wanted to, we're proud of it, right? So we wanted to show that authenticity. The authenticity also extends to the eucalyptus wood. And the dash is, is very minimal processing. So from our standpoint, um, it actually it, it richens as it ages. So very nice. Okay. And the uh, formaldehyde that I mentioned earlier, um, we don't use any of that in, in the uh, interior because we tan the leathers with olive leaves. Oh, I see. So the, the leaf extract, the oil it from the leaf extract of an oil, that's how we tan our leathers. So uh, overall the interior, very, very uh, sustainable as well. Uh, and it's in these details that we really shine. Uh, so the BMW i family is uh, starting with the i3, but there's more coming, right? Yes, so i3 is the first model. Uh, you also have the BMW i3 with range extender. And then uh, next on the list is the BMW i8. I've, I've seen that one too, and I'm really excited <laughs> about that. When is that coming? Uh, that's coming as well uh, in early 2014. So we're uh, uh, we're really excited to, to show it and you'll we'll be able to see it at the LA Auto Show. Excellent, we'll do that. Uh, well, thank you very much, Jose. We're going to keep enjoying the drive here around the way. Thank you.